everybody. Welcome to Pandemic Cooking with Wendy. Well, I am just beside myself today because I have the most incredible guest coming to the show today. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I am thrilled that Egypt Labasia is coming to shoot our Easter special. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have an Easter special. So I am waiting for her to come any minute now and wait till you see what we're going to make. That must be Egypt right now. Let me check. Hello, hello, hello. I am here, I am here. Oh, Nugget is very, very excited to see you today. Thank you so much for, for coming. And for people that are wondering, because we just air kissed, Egypt wears her mask everywhere as I do, but we both had all our vaccinations. So both of them. Yep, me too. So we're all feeling a little safer these days, aren't we? That, that, you look so beautiful. <gasps> look, Egypt, how, how did you get a TJ Maxx bag to match your outfit? It just happened. Oh. I didn't plan it. It just came. <laughs> I just love that. So tell me a little bit about what, what are we making here today? So today we're going to make a glazed ham mm -hmm. and my homemade collard greens. Ooh, and that's Easter dinner. Easter dinner. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm very excited. I can't wait to see this ham and, and collard greens. And yeah, let's just get to it. Oh, today we are cooking with Egypt La Beja, looking gorgeous. Oh, you blew it. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank it's you. so great having you here today. What are we going to be making today on Pandemic Cooking? So today we're going to be making a glazed ham and my secret recipe for collard greens. Ooh, it's a secret. So she's only going to tell us a couple of the ingredients. You're going to have to figure out the rest. And you know what? When you watch it, you can put in the comments what you think those secret ingredients. Mm -hmm. I love that. Please do. Please put in the comments so yeah. we can see. And whoever wins, I'll let you know that you're right. <laughs> are you going to give them anything? Just mine. I have them just let me know who you are. When I when I know the winner, I will send you something. Okay, Th that's that's fabulous. So you're gonna have to guess what you think the other ingredients are. And again, Egypt will know if those are good or not, and we will converse between each other and decide what the gift is. But we will send you something. So yes, we yes. We're, that's our promise. So um, let's get started. Yes. Hey, look at that. Egypt, tell me about this beautiful ham that you have put in Nick Lyon's pot, may I add? Yes, thank you Nick, not Nick Lyon for the pot. It's beautiful, it's wonderful, and this ham looks so good in it. So, it is a glazed ham, which I coated with mustard. Ah! Just regular Frenchie's mustard. I took some, uh... Looks like you got pineapple? Yes, but that came last. Okay. the mustard, then the honey, and the brown sugar, which is all coated on Ah, uh, so you, okay, this is really important because people are particular about how their ham is glazed. Yes. I know this. So the, the thing with the, the mustard and the honey, because it goes into it, gives it a nice flavor. That gives it like a kick, the right? Kick and the brown sugar and gets the glaze Ooh. on top. Ooh, so, okay, so uh, it's brown sugar. Uh, you use regular French's mustard. Yes. And then uh, honey. honey. And it, but I don't use regular honey. Of course she doesn't use regular honey, honey. The honey that I use comes from Barbados. Ah. And it has the cone in it that's round. So, hey, wait a second here. You're just blowing me away. So your honey has got like where the little bees live in it? Yes. Ah, does it, it give it like more of a pure taste? It, it does, it's a pure taste when you use it, and it tastes so good. So that's why I use it for the ham, because it gives it such a good flavor. So is this like a secret recipe from Barbados that you have? No, I just decided to use it one day because it tastes good. Because it, it, it tastes good. Yes. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, all of us are very concerned about our environment these days, and we want to help support the bees out there. That's right. Yes, and the, the thing is, honey is a good, nutritious oh, it's sweetener. It it's is. sweetener. It's, it's no fat in it. It's all natural. So that's why I use the honey and the but one from Barbados with the cone in it. It just gives such a nice flavor. So do you, um, oh, I need to know how the proportions of everything. How much of everything did There's, you use? You just smother I, it. I love, see, I love. The thing is, a lot of people go by, 
or a cup of this and a cup of that. Right. I can't cook with a cup of this and a cup of that, a teaspoon of Because I've been doing this for so long, I'm not going to tell my age. <laughs> but I've been cooking since I've been maybe 10 years old. Wow. So, it's a lot longer than me. <laughs> I've been cooking for 10 months. <laughs> so I, you know, you just pick up things along the way. Very cool. You know, you take this one's recipe, and you take that one's recipe, and that one's recipe, and you take a little bit from each one and create your own. And, and you know what? You are a girl after my own heart as a cook, because I will tell you, I, I stand here on pandemic cooking telling you to use a half a teaspoon or a half a cup or a quarter of this or a quarter of that. And the reason I do that, ladies and gentlemen, is I work off of different recipes that I find. But the truth of the matter is the best things that I make, they come from your instinct. Yes. They come from your passion. They come from your heart and what you're feeling at any given time. So I, you're an instinctive cook. That's what we call it. Well, because my mother, when she cooked, I used to ask her, Ma, what do you put? How much of this? She said, I don't measure she didn't measure. Because I've been doing it so long, you just know exactly. I pinch this, I pinch that, and you sprinkle, and you rub around. <laughs> And it comes out so right. So let me let me take a look at this ham here. So you, all right, we have the glaze on it. And then we have pineapple and cherries. You have pineapples by Dole, the best. <laughs> and maraschino cherries that's on the inside of the pineapple. Who are the maraschino cherries by? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we plugging Dole? Do they plug us? Okay, are they right. plugging Pandemic Cooking? Are they plugging each of Labisha who has no, a don't. number of shows coming up, which yes. we're going to talk about. Yes. So, okay, let's get a good close-up on this. So we've got the pineapple, we've got the cherries. We have the pineapples and cherries. And what I did to bring it, I took all of the glaze off. So what we do is... I'm excited. <laughs> we take the glaze here. And then we just pour it on. There the she goes! Let her rip! I'm loving this. Look at that. Oh my god. You Egypt is washing the ham. That's I just thought of a new cooking terminology. Wash it. We're washing the ham in this wonderful glaze. Can can you see that really clearly? Wow. Look at that, Egypt. The ham is swimming. <laughs> it's swimming now. Wow. Okay, now. We have our ham that has got the beautiful glaze. And what is our next step going to be? We're going to put it in our preheated oven. Preheated oven, yes we are. Right, okay, and what, how many degrees are we're we We're going to put it at 350 degrees because it's pretty pre-cooked. So it, it takes a bit... It takes a little less time. Less, less time. So we pre -cooked, I pre-cooked it and I just put it in the oven and let it get nice and warm Ooh. and cook for the rest of the inside. And then the ham will be done. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't wait. All right, well, stay tuned for the next segment of Pandemic Cooking with Wendy while the ham cooks and you're gonna see what we get to do next.